What it do, everybody? What it do? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. And yes, your boy is in traffic right now. I am actually en route to go to get some seats for the Chevelle, man. <laughs> and you might think like, damn, you're going to get seats for the Chevelle? I thought you already had seats. Well, I do have seats. Uh, I'm using uh, BMW seats for the front. And for the rear, I originally was going to use uh, GTO seats from like a 2005 GTO. And I still have them. However, they require some modifications, like a fair amount of modifications to get them to get them to fit. They're really tall, so you got to cut the seats down like four inches. And um, I was up for it, and I thought the look of them would be great. However, when I was on Facebook Marketplace the other day, I wasn't even looking for seats. The seats just popped up. Uh, but I look for car stuff all the time, and so I get all kinds of ads that pop up all the time things for sale and I saw somebody was selling uh, local to me some 2015 Camaro SS seats that look dang near brand new and the ad said that uh, no one had really ever sat in the back seat and those are the ones that I wanted the back seats and so by the looks of them they looked real clean it looked like they would go with my current seats in the front uh, and they look like they would drop in a lot easier with less modifications so I uh, hit the guy up. He wanted 300 bucks for him. Uh, I said I would pick him up if I could get him for 200. And so I just offered it to him, and uh, he said yes. So here we go. So I did some research to see um, if anybody else had put these style seats in a Chevelle before, which I knew that they had. I knew the front seat was a pretty popular uh, swap, uh, but I wasn't sure about the rear. And then I ended up finding. Uh, a couple people that did, but I ended up finding a, uh, a thread on one of the uh, Facebook forums, Chevelle forums, and a guy said that he was able to put them in with no modifications really at all. Uh, they pretty much just dropped right in, and the only thing you had to do is make filler pieces on the side to fill in the gap from the side of the seat uh, to the quarter, um, quarter panel wall. So. Yeah, y'all, so I'm hoping it's really that easy, and then, uh, shoot, we can just go from there. My main thing was, is I didn't want to take the seats apart to make any any modifications to them, um, as I would have to do with the GTO seats, so I'm really excited, especially for 200 bucks, you can't go wrong, and I should be able to make my money back um, out of selling the uh, GTO seats. So, uh, with that being said, too, I also got my door panels back, my rear quarter panels back, uh, interior panels back and my uh, rear deck man and man ooh wee man those interior pieces the Griffin Brothers did their thing on those man if you're not following those guys definitely give them a follow uh, on Instagram it's Griffin underscore brothers on uh, IG on YouTube I think it's Griffin designs I think it is Griffin designs uh, by the Griffin Brothers so man Give them a shout, man. They're doing amazing work, and it's really, really, really starting to show. I mean, it always has showed, but they are really picking up some steam with their business, and they're booked out pretty much like all next year already. So, uh, but they're my fam, so they were able to squeeze me in with these, and uh, man, 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 oh, so I will be showing you guys in this video right here, and what else um, oh and another thing man I just got word and this is why I said all this all this and this is why I said all this stuff is coming together I just got word that my boy is painting the Chevelle this weekend actually probably painting it or get it ready to paint right now as we speak so I um, had to do a little bit of work this morning and then when I went back to check my phone uh, he showed me a picture of the car on the trailer And he said it's about to go down. So yeah, man, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. things are coming together for the Chevelle. So it sounds like the paint's gonna be laid this weekend and I'm so excited to see what this paint looks like. But anyways, if it's your first time tuning into the channel, definitely think about subscribing, definitely think about hitting that notification bell. So when I drop the video, uh, shoot man, it'll alert you and you will know when I'm dropping that heat, man. Chevelle footage, man, I'm super excited to share this with you guys and man, I'll chime back in after I get these seats.
All right, you guys, so I am back home, and as you can see, the seats are in here, and they are actually in really good condition. Uh, if anybody ever had sat in these seats, it wasn't uh, a whole lot, <laughs> so it was definitely lightly used. Uh, you know, they're not, I wouldn't say they're 100% perfect, but they're, you know, they're they're there. They're about 90% or greater. So uh, anyways, they look really good. And I really like how short this portion is here because the GTO seats were like way up here. The headrest comes way up here and then it like dips down and then it got kind of goes back up for the other headrest. So uh, I'm liking how much shorter and smaller this is. And also another cool feature is, let's see if I can do this with one hand, is the seat actually folds down all the way down. I don't know if I'll be able to take it all the way down. Oh yeah. So if you guys can see that, so there's a little latch right there and it latches uh, to the back portion um, of the backrest on the car. And then this little strap right here, you pull it and it unlatches it and it folds down. So I am actually gonna see if I can make uh, something like that work with my current setup. The only thing that I might have a problem with is this latch might be too high um, up on the back portion of the Chevelle so meaning uh, it might actually sit higher than the package tray but we'll see if I can get it to work great if not no big deal uh, but man I'm liking these so far and I think they look really good let me see if I can scoot this over here with one hand well that's about as good as I'm gonna get it right now but you can see you guys Ooh wee oh that might be a thumbnail let me see if I can get that Buddy. Yeah, man, those look really good. And what I like about them is they are sporty, but they're not too overly done. And that's one thing that I really like about the front seats that I have that I got out of the BMW. They're sporty, but they're slash luxury, but they're slash like not overly done. They look really, really nice. And so I'm hoping that the flow and the contours of the seat will go with the seats that I already have. Um, I don't know about the leather though, uh, so we'll see. You know, worst case, I can always get all these rewrapped at some point. You know, by the time I get the Chevelle back, it's gonna be a, a process to get it back to uh, good, good, clean running order and uh, get it to, to the way that I want it. So, um, man, this car is gonna be so nice though, you guys, so, so nice. But yeah, I mean, these are really nice and I'm really digging how they are. Uh, we'll see kind of how they all will fit in the Chevelle. From my understanding, uh, I actually found a thread on Facebook and a guy had already did this uh, rear seat swap in a Chevelle. I think he might have a 70 Chevelle. And from what he was saying, because uh, people were asking him how did they fit and whatnot, he said that he, didn't ever, he never had to make hardly any modifications at all. They pretty much just fit right in there. Um, which I'll be curious to see, especially in regards to this bracket uh, that's back behind there. So um, I don't know if he took that off because he really didn't go into depth. But I know, uh, you know, people will swap seats from newer cars and the headrests or or the back portion of the seat will be too tall. So they'll have to cut it down. But he said he didn't have to cut his down. And I'm actually um, IG friends with him. Uh, we hardly ever talk, we just kind of comment on each other's things, but I probably should shoot him a message just to kind of see if I can get a little bit more information, which I probably will once I get ready to install these. But uh, I've seen pictures of his car and they look really good in there, you guys. And he definitely didn't cut them down. And from the back portion here, I think the package tray or the rear deck stops about right or starts about right here. And so you have like that much of a of a um a rise between the package tray and uh the uh, the back of the seat so which is not bad at all so i'm really curious to see uh how they're gonna fit in there and if um they do work man it's gonna save me a lot of time versus using those uh, gto seats and like i said that feature for this to fold down man if that get that to work that would be super super clutch so i don't know you guys we'll see so anyways uh these are the seats that i got 200 bucks can't beat that you guys can't beat that all right you guys it is several days later and as you guys are well aware by now i have uh been <laughs> extremely busy uh with my uh 
newly acquired business announcement and just that's taken up a ton of my time and now I don't even want to say it's a coincidence <laughs> but now that I'm getting things rolling and I'm probably at the busiest point that I've been in a long time of course the Chevelle is gonna start coming together right <laughs> so anyways I got the interior uh, from the Griffin Brothers Inn and uh, and it actually got painted you guys the Chevelle got painted it is crazy I haven't seen it yet uh, my buddy Chris just sent me the photos and man oh man wait until you see the photos I'm gonna wait till the end of the video to show you guys so you gotta watch this whole video don't skip don't skip no ads man show your boy support man I'm trying to do big things I am here and my busiest time, I have a meeting actually right after this, but I'm here to bring you guys this footage, man, because I want you guys to, to stay locked in. I'm gonna do the best I can to, to just stay somewhat consistent with the channel. Obviously with my new business, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with that, but um, I'm actually hoping maybe we'll see if we get the Chevelle back sometime soon and I can kind of pick at it here and there. But with that being said, your boy has got this piece and uh, a few other pieces here as well. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So uh, my girl should be home anytime. So if you hear uh, the door open or anybody come in, that's her. So anyways, this is my rear deck. I haven't took it totally out of the package yet just because um, it's actually two pieces combined into one. So, um, and it, uh, it's actually kind of, the seam is right here. You can't, you can't see the seam, but I have to be really careful uh, with it and I wanted to uh, keep this portion of it wrapped so that way because this is one piece right here so that way it'll kind of just hold it together uh, and shipping it shipped great uh, but he has a uh, dowels in it right here to keep it together and then uh, but the glue portion of it kind of separated so I'm just trying to be really really careful with it their CNC machine isn't big enough for them to uh, make a piece this big uh, so but that is actually their next upgrade that they're gonna do so with that being said, I'm just kind of just keeping it wrapped up for now, but I mean, you can kind of tell, and I'll bring the camera up closer up so you guys can see, and there's other clips uh, that he sent me prior to this, so you guys will see this uh, pretty close up as well. But man, this is super dope. And what I wanted, I told them that I wanted the, the, uh, the, the flow of the original OG style, but with a, a modern twist. And although, you know, this never came in the Chevelle uh, rear rear deck, rear package tray area. Uh, you can see, if you know anything about Chevelle's, they have that, that little chrome accent piece on the door and he flowed it up onto the back deck, man. And that, that's pretty dope. This right here, they made, uh, and this lights up orange. And the reason why I have it orange is because under my hood, I have Chevy orange. Uh, so a lot of pieces are powder coated painted chrome Chevy orange and so that's why I have this orange and there is some stitching on my door panels that's also orange so that way I wanted to have a little bit of contrast but when the hood is open uh, the engine bay would actually kind of flow inside of the car so uh, that way too the, the whole interior isn't just kind of black. But this material right here is, is super dope I guess it's new and he actually went to buy this material which is ultra leather and the guys there said that they only had a, a small piece of it left and it's on national back order, but it's actually it called a brushed aluminum leather. And it looks brushed aluminum. When the sun shines on it, it is super like bright like brushed aluminum. So the man, it is so dope. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can light this up for you guys. Uh, it also has provisions here uh, for my speakers. So it has like a mesh there and an opening so speakers can come through. Then it has like little accent pieces. Uh, so uh, he, I have clips that, of videos that he sent me so you guys will get to see the whole thing and pictures of it and all. Uh, but just for, I just didn't want to take it off for now and, and just I wanted to leave it. So let me see if I can light this thing up. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh wee. Y'all see that? Let me scoot back. Man, I don't know if, if it'll stay. If I push it back, hold on. Oh, it might stay. There we go. 
There we go. Let me grab the camera. I can get you guys a little closer. Man. Look at that. Light up orange too, you guys. Oh man. Now, the only portion of it here, the reason why this is lit up is because when they uh, did the channel in there for the light, uh, for some reason, uh, the way that they ran the cords and everything, they had to hide it uh, back in there. So uh, I have no LEDs there, but you know, that's okay. It still looks good. And uh, I'm happy with that. So man, at night, that thing really, really lights up. Uh, then you have some little, uh, this is actually from the uh, the wrapping. And so that should come off uh, no problem. I actually took a rag and wiped a little bit of it off and it came off. But he said, if it doesn't, then he'll just make me a, a new one. That's easy enough. So anyways, you guys, man, that black plexi too, man. And then when it's off, it looks good as well. So see that? It gives it a totally different look. It goes, it blends in with the, uh, the brush aluminum. And if you can see the material up close, See how shiny that is? Man, super dope, you guys, super dope. So this is my rear package tray deck. And uh, right now I'll show clips of, uh, of the actual footage that I have from them that they sent over. All right, man. This is the rear deck. So clearly this is where the speakers would go up under and they kind of hollow as you can see. So the music would come through them. Um, and then you got your grooves, silver. And then this is actually where the plex is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be black plexi because it's gonna light up in orange. And then your doors is black as well and they light up in orange. So the only piece that had orange on them was the, um, the upper doors. That's said Malibu on them. So. Oh, last thing. I wrapped this all the way over here. Cause they go against the window, but I did leave you some material um, so that hopefully the trim will come down. You can just slide this under so you don't have no metal showing. And then this is the part that goes flap down over um, where the back seat butts up to it. So, that side of the window. So you're looking at it from the back seat. This is the back seat basically. Cause your doors actually have that, but it's the opposite way. So when you're looking from the back window, you can see the same um, design as the doors. If that makes sense. All right, there we're deck done. Um, clearly the light lights up. Now I had to put it to where the wire can go through. So it ain't gonna have no light in the corner. I just picked the corner. Um, but I thought it still looked good though, regardless, because you can't make the LED go down in there because then it won't sit flush to your rear deck. But it came out good though. Oh, and then these, uh, so the plexis are pressed in, and then these are actually pressed in too. So technically you can pop them out from the back or take this off because it's only bolted on and then pop this out. Um, so like if you wanted to, it shouldn't hear muffle because it's actually uh, hollow, but technically we wanted to take those out so somebody can see the speaker you could. Yeah. All right, you guys, next up, true unboxing right here. So these are, I don't know what these are. <laughs> I think these might be my smaller door panels. Uh, so again, this is true unboxing. I haven't seen these in person yet. So from what you guys see is what I see for the very first time. And again, you guys, uh, I'm trying to hurry and do this before my meeting. I'm trying to get you guys this footage, man. So true unboxing. I haven't seen any of these in person. Oh yeah, these right here where the arm pad rests. All right, let's see what these look like. Oh man, <laughs> super nice, man. 50 year old, they stitched them, seamed them, everything. Oh man, that's so nice. So, so nice. Man, the Chevelle. It's gonna be one to mess with, or not mess with. And the thing with this guys is, I know that there is like super custom 
builds out there. I know people are, are building cars, uh, you know, A bodies out there right now that are totally like custom, like door panels or like all like resto mod, newer uh, Euro style looking. And that, that wasn't my goal. Like, although that's nice, I love all kinds of builds. I love the originality of the older look, but I wanted it with a modern twist and just so I can kind of blend the two together. And I think uh, my ideas and the concepts of what uh, they came up with and what I told them that I wanted uh, just matched perfectly. And once you guys see this paint job, man, 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 it's gonna be a showstopper for sure when it all comes together. Y'all yeah, just wait, just wait. So what I'll do is, uh, oh, this might be both of the door panels. I was gonna say if they had them individually wrapped, I'll just unwrap one. Yep. So this is the rear quarters. Get out of here. Oh man. process all right here we go so what these were right here these are again the, the rear quarters man look at these ha! and if you know anything about the 70 to 72 Chevelles you know that they have that line there uh, and what they did is they obviously made this bigger but the cool thing about these guys man and this is why I wanted to go through them is they think of the little things. And what they did, man, it's ultra leather. Whew. What they did is they left provisions for me to move this up and down. There's some screws in the back uh, here and here, and there's like little slits uh, up and down. And all I gotta do is loosen those screws and move this up and down a little bit if they don't match, if this line doesn't match my front uh, door panel. Who thinks of that? You know what I'm saying? So this is why I wanted to go through those guys, man. I never even thought of that. Uh, but as you can see, the orange stitching here follows the same flow as the old uh, old um, OG style. I uh, got new door sweeps because I bought all new door sweeps. Uh, actually, this one right here was a repop and all they did was use uh, the uh, original uh, frame and flange and stuff from it uh, to make these. So, man, super nice. I am loving these, man. I believe you've seen the quarters already, but um, sweeps is on there. I actually riveted all the sweeps in there. So you get to go there. The only thing I didn't do, no, everything's good on the quarters. Yep. So luckily with these moldings, um, they all bolt on and like I was telling you early on this one in particular if for some reason it doesn't line up you can technically just move the bolt if you have to you can probably like make a little space a little cut it's real simple because it's just a cardboard but I really do think these will line up pretty good it's where you probably won't need to make any adjustments for the for the uh, the doors so all right I'm about to show you the doors all right you guys final unboxing we got the the main Event, the door panels, the actual door panels going down right now. At the door, door panels themselves. So again, I'll, I'll only undo one. I don't want to do them both as um, I'm going to be storing. Again, I don't want to use the razor.
Hoo-hoo-wee. Now, I don't know. It might have gotten damaged in transit. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure if this is supposed to move like that. Because that one, that one's not moving. So I'm gonna have to hit them up and see. Uh, so this little flange, they actually reuse this metal flange and they built this portion here. And uh, I don't know how they did this. I'm gonna have to tear that one open and, and look at it so and see, uh, but I can already tell it's not supposed to be like that. But anyways, this is it. This is what it looks like. Man, 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 man. See if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Oh, I'm too far. So yeah, you guys, so this right here, again, so if you look at the old panels, you'll see kind of how that flows with the old. It used to have a Malibu little, little plaque thing right there. Uh, they tied in the orange and then here it's faint, but it says Malibu and I'll give you guys a closer up uh, look up. I'll give you guys a close-up look at it, but the Mr. Griffin 23, this is actually in the Chevelle font. Um, just Mr. Griffin 23 down there. And this also lights up, and I'll show you guys that as well. Orange stitching here. Uh, I can actually take this out and change it if I ever wanted to change it. But man, 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 looking, looking, looking good. Let's see if I can light this thing up. What are we looking like? We lit up. Oh yeah, buddy. Yo, yeah, buddy, yo, yeah, buddy, look at that. I don't know if I'll be able to sit it down and get you guys a closer look, but. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So as you can see here, so this part moves. I think it might be broke, which sucks. But maybe we can get that fixed. Yeah, you guys, that thing lights up down there. Man, 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 man. Woo! All right, let me uh, undo the light. There you go. Back to black again. But I like how that kind of flows with this piece here, like same color. All right, and here's the grand finale. You gotta put your hand along. There is holes here. You just gotta hit it with a little blade, but you wanna make sure you, the little pole pops out um, so you can know exactly where to hit it, but there's holes all through the, through the pole. And you can see it says Malibu. It's a little more of a faint, but it looks good there. Tricks the eye. That came out pretty good. And then I'll pick it up. Came out real good. Sweeps is on there, clearly. Light her up. Bam. Woo wee. Looking good. Looking good. All right, man. Uh, I'll shut my, my mouth. But it does look good. Here's your handle. Then we did this in a more of a like grainy grain material because then it'll kind of match the texture of this versus being super smooth like this. Uh, and again, that is faint, but oh yeah, you can see it, see? But that really lights up. All right, you guys, so real quick, this is actually just gonna be an insert clip uh, into the video. And this is in regards to this uh, door panel that is broken. Uh, I ended up talking to Dwayne Griffin uh, he's the one that basically built the panel and he says it's, uh, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, the way that he made it, uh, makes it easier to repair if, if something like this happened. Um, so, uh, that's a good thing. So I'm happy about that. He said, worst case, I might have to take this top, uh, piece off. He said, that's worst case, but we're going to try to repair it. Um, without doing that, which uh, he thinks can be done, but he doesn't want to do it if it's not gonna be right and looks right, you know, and I respect that, especially since their name is on it. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So I'm not gonna worry about it right now though, since these aren't going in the car anytime soon. 
uh, but it looks like I'm gonna be doing it myself, but he's gonna be able to uh, be on FaceTime with me and walk me through the process and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, this one actually came out really good. Uh, you know, ended up came, coming through fine, but this one, not so good. What we're thinking was, is they were setting boxes and things on top of it, and then that's where it broke. So, um, so yeah, but the way that he made it, he made it like that just in case if that were to happen it can be repaired uh, he didn't want to use anything more permanent like rivets or any type of um, hardware like screws or anything like that because if it breaks then it's going to break other portions of the panel and then you the whole thing is is not reusable so uh, that's why he made it like this just in case if something like this happened um, you can do that so anyways you guys i just wanted to fill you guys in on that so uh we are good we're good to go and that makes me happy so anyways stay tuned but man this car is coming together coming together and it is uh it's gonna be a nice one you guys it's gonna be a nice one so like i said you guys stay tuned for the next clips coming up because it is uh pictures they're only pictures it is pictures of the chevelle painted all right painted and uh it's not cut and buffed yet but it is super wet uh, even before the cut, cut and buff, man. So, man, you guys stay tuned for that. There's some good things going down in Mr. Griffin 23's world, man. And it is going down, and I'm super blessed. I'm super excited, and I'm glad I can take you guys on these journeys with me. All right? So stay tuned for these next clips. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing, hitting that notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. Man, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Watch the Chevelle. It's going down. Holla. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,